And now I'll ask Dan Bruner, the uh, director of our legal service program, to come on up and give our third award out tonight. Good evening. It's my real pleasure to present our third uh, Joel Tobin Award this year to uh, Mr. Olson's partner in the Perry litigation, uh, David Boys. Uh, Mr. Boys is well known and greatly respected in the legal profession, uh, and indeed he's a national public figure. Some of his many impressive accomplishments are summarized in our printed program tonight but he's perhaps most famous for the Bush v. Gore case, for his trial work with the Justice Department uh, in the antitrust case against Microsoft, and of course for his groundbreaking efforts uh, with Mr. Olson and his colleagues in the ongoing Perry case. Aside from his very distinguished career in private practice, he served as chief counsel and staff director to the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee and that committee's uh, antitrust subcommittee. He's a fellow of the American College of Trial Lawyers uh, and the International Academy of Trial Lawyers. He's received awards from the International Dyslexia Association, the University of Virginia, the Equality Forum, the San Francisco Warriors Club, uh, and the Mississippi Center for Justice. He's been singled out repeatedly for special recognition by the National Law Journal, Chambers USA, Who's Who's International, and the National Bar, New York Bar Association. And along with Mr. Olson was named one of the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine last year. Uh, I want to say also uh, that Mr. Boyce's and uh, Mr. Olson's achievements and those of Paul Smith as well really go to the heart of what we do at Clickman Walker. Uh, time and again, over many years, we have seen how the lack of full legal recognition of gay and lesbian relationships has harmed the lives of so many of our clients living with HIV and other life-threatening conditions and their partners. Uh, I remember personally men and women whose partners died unexpectedly without duly executed wills, and who were evicted from their longtime homes by relatives who had not seen the couple in years, uh, and in many cases had actually disowned them because of uh, HIV phobia or homophobia or both. Uh, I remember a particular client whose partner was dying at a local hospital. Um, and although the partner had actually ex executed a healthcare power of attorney in another hospital uh, in Washington, when he was in the second hospital, the second hospital's lawyers decided that that healthcare power of attorney didn't fully comply with DC law. And so they wouldn't talk to our client, his longtime partner, and instead spent a lot of time on the phone trying to track down the patient's sister, who he hadn't seen in many years, to talk to him instead. Uh, and I remember another client who, with his partner, filed a domestic partnership declaration with the D.C. government, and the D.C. government lost the declaration. And so when uh, the patient who was living with HIV died, uh, the other guy had no legal rights and lost everything. Um, now, in D.C. now, fortunately, we have marriage equality, thanks primarily to the efforts of council members Catania and Mendelssohn uh, and Mayor Gray, um, which is a wonderful thing. And uh, on a personal note, uh, my partner, Tim Beamer, and I are getting married this coming Saturday on the 28th. the 20th anniversary of the day that we met. Uh, and when we do, we certainly have these great uh, DC leaders uh, to thank for that. But we also are really indebted to uh, Ted Olson and David Boyce and Paul Smith for making the public record and developing the legal precedents that are undermining DOMA uh, and the anti-gay marriage laws throughout this country. 
Uh, so we at Flickland Walker are just really delighted to present uh, the Joel Tobin uh, 2011 award to David Boyce. Uh, and accepting the award for Mr. Boyce is Rick Baton, who's one of his uh, colleagues and a member of the Perry litigation team. 